Hi, I'm Eric. I'm KC8XJ, and I'm with Universal Radio. Uh, and today, we get a great opportunity here to uh, sit down with one of Yesu's flagship radios. Uh, this is their FT-DX9000, and this model is the D version. The other model is called the MP. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is the MP is a 400 watt transmitter version and comes with a lot less pre-installed or factory installed accessories. The D model, however, is only 200 watts and has a lot of things that are optional in the MP version. Um, one of those things is the TFT display. Internally, there are microtune units, which uh, I'll talk a little bit more about here that are internal. And there's a few other features that are in the feature pack D, but with a 200 watt version on its transmitter side. There are two quadruple conversion receivers that are built into this radio. And you've got separate controls for each side of the receiver completely independent of each other. So you've got adjustable filters, each have their own VFOs, IF width and IF shifts that you can go through and not affect the other receiver in one way or another. I got the chance to be able to take this home and use it and compare it to a few other radios that I've got. This is definitely the granddaddy of them all. It's really nice to sit down with this first class rig and really see what started that whole line in the DX series. You're gonna be able to constantly watch a live scope and you can scroll through different modes here. But you can look at your audio on the oscilloscope in a waterfall display. It's great on digital modes and even chasing down those really weak signals in sideband down in the mud. Having those scopes and being able to see exactly where your signals are and what you're trying to pick up gives you the ability to fine tune the most out of your filters. You're going to have your main VFO knob of course right in the middle uh, and your audio and RF gain are going to be right here next to it and your IF width and shift are going to be here on uh, next to that. Over here is the knob that they use for the clarifier and your VFO-B control. And then basically all of these settings across the top here are adjustments for the filters for VFO-A. Everything down across the bottom here are adjustments for your VFO-B, which is going to be tied to that knob. Two completely different sets of controls for both sides of the receivers and the filters that are uh, all set up. And they're all at a hands touch away. You don't have to go diving into any menus or anything to adjust these or switch them over. You can, you can change them all independently. On the back, I've got five switchable antenna ports. Four of them have the antenna tuners tied to them. One of them is a dedicated receive only port. The D model has the DMU, the data management unit, installed in it. And that gives you dedicated audio outs, keyboard connections, uh, a connection for a monitor to hook up, the ability to hook directly to an Ethernet cable with an Internet access. Your logging software that's actually built into the radio can report directly to Logbook of the World. So as you're making contacts, it can be recording that for you out on another machine or directly to a website for logging. Having the ability to hook up a keyboard to it's great. You can do packet and uh, PSK31 and data modes already built into this radio just standalone without having to interface it with a computer. The D version has th all three of the microtune units that are built in there. One for 160, one for 80 and 40, and then the other one comes, covers uh, 30 meters and 20 meters. They're installed in the radio and actually are used before your signal gets into the receiver. And as you're tuning up the bands, the microtune units make adjustments and follow with you as you're tuning up and down through the ham bands. No doubt about it, this rig is built for contesting. You can very easily have pre-programmed voice messages calling CQ on one band while you're tuning around looking for stations to call on another. It takes some time, of course, to get used to, and this is a radio that I find you're going to be spending a lot of time with the manual and a lot of time just getting to know and learn how all these features work. The more time I've spent with this, the more I appreciate the mechanical precision and the symphony of everything that's going on inside of this rig uh, that just makes it one of the most phenomenal radios on the market right now.